online job search typically goes like this. Do a search on a site, do a search on another site, do the same search on a third site. Repeat as necessary. There's a simpler way to search for jobs online. In this video, I'll be showing you with RSS and Indeed.com. First off, you need to know about this icon. You might have noticed it on various websites, particularly blogs or sites that are updated often. It's a link to an RSS feed, which stands for Really Simple Syndication. Paste this link into an RSS reader, and any updates to the feed are automatically sent to it. This means that you don't have to spend every day visiting a dozen different websites to do your job search. Just use your RSS reader to aggregate feeds. I'll be using Google Reader to demo RSS readers in this video, but if you don't care for Google, there's a multitude of RSS readers out there to choose from. I've got links to some of them in the show notes at ThoughtShots.com. In order to subscribe to a feed, all you've got to do is right-click the RSS icon and select Copy Link. In Google Reader, click on Add Subscription at the top. Paste a link in the box and click Add. The feed will appear on your subscriptions list on the lower left. When you select the feed, all updates will appear in the main reading screen. There's a ton of job search sites out there, and depending on the field you're seeking work in, the merits of one or another job site is going to vary wildly. For general search, however, you almost can't go wrong using Indeed.com, which aggregates job listings from a multitude of job sites. This means you can see results from Monster, Career Builder, or even corporate sites with a single search. Let's start off by defining a search. Let's say we want to find a graphic design job in San Francisco. As it gives you more options, click on Advanced Job Search. We could do a search for Graphic Designer, but the job titles in this field can vary wildly. It could be Graphic Artist, or Production Artist, or Graphic Specialist. Based on looking at quite a few job descriptions in this field myself, I know that the one word that's going to be there no matter what is Graphic. If I wanted to get more specific, I could try Photoshop or Web Design, but let's start with a wide search and then narrow things down later. We want to search for jobs in San Francisco, but so we keep the search wide, let's change the location drop-down menu to within 100 miles of. Now on the search results screen, if you scroll down a bit, you can see the link for RSS job feed in the lower right. Copy that link into your RSS reader, and any new results will show up as they come in. As you spend time looking at the results, you may need to refine the search to see jobs that more closely match your needs. Indeed.com isn't comprehensive. Some sites like Craigslist aren't included in the search. Craigslist does, however, offer an RSS link at the bottom of each job category. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the link on the orange box. If you're looking to work for a particular company, you might look out and find that company offers an RSS feed for job openings. This is the career site for a large state university, and as you can see, there's an RSS feed icon in their main site. A lot of large corporations use non-standard methods of listing open positions. This means no RSS. Thankfully, it's these large corporations that tend to use sites like Monster or Career Builder to post jobs, so you're still likely to catch them through Indeed, but your mileage may vary. Just keep in mind that this is just a starting point in your online job search. You'll need to keep reading job descriptions and adjust your search criteria accordingly. You'll also need to keep digging for other sources that may not be aggregated by Indeed. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.